Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. I did get a request to do a review video of this fragrance. And honestly, I thought it was a good idea because before I purchased this fragrance, I was looking for YouTube videos about it, like just anything. I think the only person I saw, I'm sorry, I don't even know her name. I saw like one review video about it and I'll link it down below. But other than that, it was just dead. But this has been getting a lot of hype and word of mouth in the Facebook group. So that's what prompted me to buy it. I wouldn't say I'm a Sabrina Carpenter fan. Like I do know some of her songs, but I wasn't gonna buy it for that reason to just directly support her. So I needed to make sure that the fragrance was gonna be something that I would like. And people were just saying it's so cozy, it's so sweet, it's very gourmand. People were describing it as like hot cocoa with marshmallows. And I remember thinking, I don't wanna buy it if it's too chocolatey because I did give away Chocolate Greedy by Montel for that very reason because it is so chocolatey and I love it, it's gorgeous but I just wasn't comfortable wearing it. I saw a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews and people were just saying, yes, it's chocolatey, but there's just more to it. And people were comparing it to Killian Princess and to Cloud. And then I was just pretty much sold after that because I was thinking this sounds like it would be up my alley. And I was right. So I love when a blind buy goes successfully. I ended up buying it off of Scent Beauty site and it was just take, it wasn't taking long to ship, but it just wasn't quick. Anyway, so I decided to go to Walmart because people were saying it's available in Walmart and that there's a set at Walgreens. So I love that because it's just easily accessible. I actually made my boyfriend drive to this random location. It wasn't even the nearest Walmart. So you might wanna check online and see what's in stock near you, or you could just order it off of Scent Beauty like a normal person, but I'm just really impatient. So I ended up buying two bottles. I have another one, uh, cause I just couldn't wait for it to come in the mail. I'm crazy but now i'm glad i have two bottles because i really really enjoy this okay let's just get to the point so the notes are candy ginger chocolate marshmallow and i just want to say it's definitely candied ginger so don't get too afraid that it's going to be too spicy or i don't know if that's going to make you run for the hills because of other ginger fragrances you've tried i wouldn't be scared it's kind of like the ginger that's in killian princess it's just slight it's just a dash of it and if you blink you'll miss it it's just not obnoxious the chocolate so i don't know if it's a chocolate or a white chocolate but to me it reads like a white chocolate it's just more vanillic and i think that's because of the marshmallows so this is such a true delicious marshmallow scent so it's not just powdery marshmallows it has so much sweetness so i think it's that vanilla the white chocolate in my head it's white chocolate i think there's bergamot in here maybe to add a little bit of balance but it's not really doing much i think they could have added a bit more bergamot maybe to balance it out but i love it it's it's very sweet but it's not obnoxious and that's because it performs like cloud it doesn't smell like cotton candy but you know how cotton candy is fluffy and airy and sweet but it's not like it's gonna give you a cavity or a toothache you know it's not overwhelmingly sweet but it's still very sugary that's the best way i could describe this and the same way that ariana grande cloud has this sweet fluffiness i feel like this has that same thing but they are not dupes they're they're not even that much alike but they do both have coconut so this has coconut milk and if you hate coconut notes i wouldn't avoid this i definitely recommend still trying it because it is coconut milk so you know, people put coconut milk in curry, it's not gonna taste like coconuts, but it just adds a creaminess to it. But I will say I do get a little coconut tinge, but I think people will like it. Even if you're not a coconut fragrance person, I think you'll like it because it kind of reads as like coconut macaroons. I don't know if there's musk in here, but I will say, you know, this is definitely for the gourmand lovers. You have to like sweet fragrances. You have to like gourmands because otherwise it's just totally not for you there's not an overabundance of florals there's not woodiness grounding it there's nothing overly spicy so in a way i guess you could say it's linear but i actually think it's impressive like it's not just a generic fragrance i think a lot of people look down on celebrity fragrances because they just think that 
they're not going to be good or that they're going to smell generic or like hairspray or chemicals and yes there are some celebrities who i feel like shill out trash or the perfumers just don't put in effort i feel like this was a very good release i feel like it's on par with like ariana's fragrances it has its own identity it doesn't smell exactly like anything else yes it takes inspiration i guess from cloud and killian princess maybe and whatever but it stands on its own and i just really really like this like i've just been addicted to it lately it's all i want to wear but let's talk about longevity so yes it's not a good performer to me it performs a lot like cloud as well or any ariana fragrance really like none of them last that long in my opinion so it's just a softer intimate scent but i will say i do smell it four hours later but it does get fainter the longer you wear it that's just the nature of it because this is just a soft scent to begin with it's a marshmallow scent four hours later you're just gonna get soft whiffs of a soft marshmallow scent and that's just how it is you know but i do love putting this on my clothes because i mean i just think any fragrance lasts long on clothes to be honest i think it's just the nature of it like the fabric just holds on to it but yeah i love just sniffing my shirt or my sweater or whatever after putting this on because it just lingers and it's this yummy scent so yes it's super gourmand it smells like marshmallows but i still feel like it's wearable and by the way i really like how it's not obnoxious and a super loud projector because i'm just realizing i really like these softer scents where i can smell it and it's nice but it's not screeching at me because sometimes with fragrances like that it tends to give me a headache it gives people around me a headache and i really like these scents where it just projects softly and whenever you sweat maybe it gets more intense you know what i'm talking about versus beast mode fragrances like for example angel share i always bring that up because that scent just wow i mean it's worth the money for the way it develops but I don't know there there is something to be said about these softer scents that you can reapply because that's one of my favorite parts of fragrance is just reapplying i want to use my fragrance up for me it's not about buying a fragrance that i only need to spray two or three times because what's the fun in that and then it's gonna last all day you know or what if i want to switch up my fragrance midday so i honestly do like being able to reapply this multiple times a day and that being said, it does perform better than a body mist. It's not super watery like a body mist. It doesn't last one to two hours like a body mist. But again, it's not like a super powerful extrait. And I also think it has to do with the notes being these light, airy, sweet notes. It's It doesn't have saffron in it. It doesn't have oud in it. So there's nothing really helping it last. Anyways, I hope this review is helpful. I hope I answered any questions you have, but if you have more, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.